today. My name is Dan Silva, Vocation Plus, and today we're going to be talking about, I don't know if you guys are Harry Potter fans, but there is somebody in this room <laughs> that knows about Harry Potter a thing or two. I'm like a, um, a beginner, I guess you would say. I have watched the movies, I have not read the books, I'll be honest. Um, but well, your wife is a lover, right, of yes. Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. This is all of her paraphernalia of Harry Potter? Yeah. Got the movie series over there. Uh, DVDs, we bought it back when it was VHS, yeah. back in the day, a large box, and uh, but now we have the DVD collection and also the books. Yeah. Have you, does it a person normally read a book, like maybe just one time and puts it up, or are you a re-reader? I'm a re-reader for sure. Gotcha. And I recently reread them, but on my tablet, so the electronic version. Okay. Okay, so really quick, we're going to go and talk about the author. Yeah, so a few fun facts about J.K. Rowling. That's the author of the Harry Potter series. So J.K. Rowling first had the idea for Harry Potter while she was delayed on a train traveling from Manchester to London King's Cross in 1990. Over the next five years is when she planned out the seven book series. Um, after finishing the first book, she was training to be a teacher, and Harry Potter was accepted for publication. Uh, by Bloomsbury, but it was rejected by 12 other publishing companies before it got picked up. 12 people rejected Harry Potter. <laughs> I bet they're regretting that That's decision insane. now. It's <laughs> just crazy. Got you. Uh, so Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which was the version that came out in the UK, uh, quickly became a bestseller um, in publication in 1997. So that's when the first one came out. When it came out in the U.S., though, it was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I like that title better. I yeah. don't know why. It's just yeah. kind of... Sorcerer yeah, instead I mean, of Philosopher. Mm -hmm. You ever watch an old movie, and they say, oh, actually, this person was supposed to play that role, but you yeah. can't see that person. Yeah. Because uh, I think Will Smith was supposed to play Neo in... Matrix? The Matrix. Whoa. But that didn't happen, and I could only see Neo Keanu. or uh, Keanu, that's Keanu, it. Yeah, but he was happen. busy with that but Wild Wild West one. Which... Yeah. They yeah. Too well. I heard it. Take. I heard it. Take. <laughs> but anyways, onward. anyway, uh, yes. Which sorcerer sounds better anyway? It does. It does. Uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, during the process of creating Harry Potter, actually was clinically depressed, and that is how she came up with the Dementors. Do you remember those? I do. I do. Yeah. They take your happy. They suck the happy soul right out of your oh. body. Yeah. Um, and then she's also obsessed with charm bracelets. Charm bracelets. Yeah, they just jingle, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of little charms and nice. little objects. And <laughs> okay, next. And that's what we got. She's uh, successful, and congratulations to you, Miss J.K. Rowling, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>